Mom, why am I fat? Well, did that ad get your attention? Georgia health officials hope so. It is part of a statewide initiative to give families a dose of tough love and then empower them to make some lifestyle changes. Well, joining me now is Dr. Susan Eisensee, the clinical director of Dean's Comprehensive Weight Management Program, and Rebecca Thompson, executive director of the Wisconsin Medical Society Foundation, which is the largest association of medical doctors in the state with more than 12,000 members. Thanks to both of you for joining us on this very important issue. Now, you look at that ad from Georgia. Their campaign, ignoring the problem, is what got us here. I think it's a very powerful statement, and I think it's getting at the exact problem. I mean, 75% of obese children go on and become obese adults, and they've learned behavior from what they live with in their own home, in their family, and what they do. Definitely. The time is now. We are at a critical point where we need to change. This generation right now is not expected to live beyond their parents, and we really need to take action and really help set, reset expectations. Now, Georgia has the second highest rate of childhood obesity in the country. 40% of kids there are over, overweight. I guess Mississippi is the, high, is the worst in the, in the country. 30% uh, is what they, uh, just below 30% here in Wisconsin. Uh, is it fair to call this problem uh, a crisis at this point in time? Rebecca, what do you think? Are we at crisis levels yet? Absolutely. We have kids talking about cholesterol, diabetes. Those are becoming standard words. And again, they are not expected to live beyond their current generation. Wisconsin right now is ranked 22 out of 52 territories. So there are about 60% that are worse off than Wisconsin, about 40% that are doing better. Now, you see it on a clinical level, I'm sure. Um, what do you think? I mean, is it crisis? Absolutely. Obesity in children has tripled in the last 30 years. Wow. Um, so it's a huge problem. And as Rebecca said, we're dealing with a lot more type 2 diabetes in kids. We're dealing with joint problems. We're dealing with non-fatty liver disease in children. In children, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, sleep apnea. Let's listen to another uh, example. We mentioned how powerful this campaign is in Georgia, kind of setting a trend of sorts here. Let's see exactly uh, another piece of uh, what Georgia is doing to uh, get at this problem. My doctor says I have something called hypertension. I'm really scared. Playing video games is what I like to do by myself. I don't have to be around the other kids. So all they want to do is pick on me. Some argue, uh, you know, a societal shift is is really needed here. Um, you know, kind of what we saw with Nancy Reagan and drugs in the 80s. And Michelle Obama really trying to make steps here with her uh, anti-obesity, her Let's Move campaign. Um, what do you think we can do, Dr. Eisensee? Well, I think there's a lot of things we can do. Um, one of the things we're doing at Dean is we're trying to get the primary care physicians to deal with this at the Well Child Checks. Um, at the Well Child Checks, the state of Wisconsin now is looking at developmental delays, and one of the things we're trying to put into place is a program that the Medical College of Wisconsin developed uh, called 321 Blast Off. So we're trying to get at those kids and get them to do some very simple things in a family, and that is three meals a day, no more than two hours of sedentary activity, that's the video games this young man was doing, or watching TV, which is a big thing for kids now. And at least one hour of physical activity a day. Very simple, mm -hmm. but it's a societal change. I know the state of Wisconsin is looking at a program to get a school, each school have their own garden. Um, and for kids to understand where food comes from, that's societal, that's not individual, that's a societal thing. All right, we're going to take a short break, come back and continue this discussion on battling childhood obesity in Wisconsin. A question, true or false, you can eat more and weigh less. The answer when we return with this special Time for Kids recipe for health report.